Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of HRST, we are in video number three. In last video, we discussed about how to install or activate plugins in ServiceNow HRST. So today in part three, we discuss about the roles, type of roles in ServiceNow HRST. So while we are installing the plugins of HRST, there are n number of roles which get installed or created automatically within the system. And these roles are of two types. The very first one is core HRST roles and second one is client roles. So let me go to my website, ServiceNow Spectacular. In this website, I have provided all the questions which are related to HRST. You can go through it. It will help you in interviews as well. Okay. So here you see one of the question. What are the core HRST roles in ServiceNow? So these are the core roles. Okay. And these are the client roles. So what is the difference between a core role and a client role? See, when we install HRST, it is expected that the whole system get installed. And this system is being used by HRs, the whole team of HR, okay? And in this HR team, there are n number of people. All people have their different, different responsibilities. So based on that, we have this core HRST role. So these are the roles which are used by the HR team, okay? So here you see some of the roles I have, uh, you know, written here. There are n number of other roles as well, but these are the very important. So the very first one is admin role. This is ServiceNow HR core admin, that is case and knowledge management administrator. This role is available to the people who are similar to ServiceNow administrator, but they have the capability to modify the forms. They have the capability to add a new field and all these things to modify basically the applications which are installed by ServiceNow related to HRST. So all the HR applications are managed or administered by this particular person. So let's say tomorrow there is a need to make a change in the layout of the form or in the ACLs or anything related to configuration. This is the guy who is going to do that. Then we have a HR agent that is ServiceNow HR core basic role. This role is granted to the people who are doing HR agent work on daily basis like customer care. Let's say uh, you have a query with respect to insurance then your ticket will be redirect to the people or the person who is expert in insurance or who has uh, you know more knowledge in insurance with respect to that so like this there are various other agents who are working on a particular thing on a particular subject so for those people we have this role and this is known as hr agent then we have another important role which is hr manager so this is the whole and soul of hr team all these people, all these roles are come under this HR manager only because he is the one who is deciding the policies, who is instructing the people that you have this responsibility and you have that responsibility. Even the HR admin also come under this role because he is the manager. So HR manager is a person or group of people who are completely responsible for the whole process oriented thing with respect to HRST. There are few other roles as well, but uh, these are not that much important. Uh, you can easily you know get what they are doing okay but these are the few roles which i explained and this is very important now come to client roles so core roles were for hr employees now client roles are for the employees you know hrst is based on industrial standards and it is there to help your hr team to manage their work easily so for such thing they have bifurcated the employees into n number of groups so that they can easily communicate with them so that they can easily work with them and get their work 100% correct. So for that, you see various groups are available like like alumni employees, contractor, permanent employee, contingent employee and various groups are there with respect to location, new hire and all and all. Based on your organizational setup, you can create your own client roles but ServiceNow is already providing these client roles. Like I said already, these roles help in providing better quality of service delivery. So these are the two type of roles. I hope you understand what is core role and what is a client role. What is the purpose of these two roles? It is important for you to understand this concept because going forward, you have to think in such a way. So I hope you understand it. Let me know if you have any question. Otherwise, subscribe to this particular series. Very important. I will come up with one more video soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.